Oh, gosh. Let's see what's slapping. On Pink Flamingo. Hmm. Oh, man. I wish I could solo on that. But you know what? I think I have an idea. See, part of the problem is that uh, when I'm going through my feed on YouTube and I'm wanting to uh, maybe record on something or practice, use something for practice purposes to play back, record my guitar soloing, things like that, uh, what I run into is I cannot get the audio from this awesome video made by my friend Jonathan at Electric Flamingo, check him out, uh, onto my DAW. So the idea occurred to me today that um, I actually do have that capability and it comes in the form of this little bad boy right here. The Fender Mustang Micro. It's a headphone amp. It's got a USB jack and a headphone jack. And this goes into your guitar. When you are recording with this into your phone, you use cables like this. And you Bluetooth from a separate device like this into here for your backing track. And then you use these cables to plug it into your phone and while you're recording on camera your phone camera will just pick up what's in this and that includes the backing track and the feature that is best in this is that the backing track comes in at a level volume in your headphones and you adjust the volume of only your guitar to get a proper blend in the mix so that means if I want to record the sound coming out of this and it not include the guitar, I just turn the volume all the way down so that there's no like bzz, 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 bzz. And then I just plug this in to my computer, open up my DAW, and record whatever I'm Bluetoothing into this thing. So that's what I'm going to do now. That I am going to hook up my Bluetooth audio. Oh. And right there, I am Bluetoothed into the Fender Mustang Micro Home. So, now, I'm going to open up YouTube, go to my subscriptions, find Electric Flamingo, there's the bro, we're going to go find Bogren contest video that we want to use. Let's see, July 2022. So, backing track is so sick. Okay. And this is now playing through the Fender Mustang Micro. I just realized I made a mistake. I was trying to use my phone, but I need to use my phone to record this. So we have the iPad Bluetoothing into the micro. The micro is hooked up to my computer. And I've got Cakewalk open here. And what I'm going to do is sort of new project. We're going to do an empty project. I'm going to set this up so that my input is internal aux jack to Fender Mustang Micro. That's what I want. So I'm going to record enable. Now, you might be saying to yourself, hey, 
dip s why not just bluetooth from your phone or from the ipad into the micro plug that into a guitar and record using the sounds with the micro well i while i love the tones that are provided by the micro what i want to do is actually make a proper recording on my daw so i can play it back try it again do several cuts without messing around on my phone i just want to get the backing track from youtube into my DAW so that I have it and that way I can record re-record try 4500 times to make a decent solo that goes over top of what Jonathan did on that song and um, this is all for the purposes of recording so I saw a video by uh, John Nathan Cordy if you uh, don't watch his channel you should he's a phenomenal guitar player what I found out was at the end of his video, sometimes he would leave uh, tracks for you to jam over top of where he plays the rhythm. Or uh, my guy Robert Baker on YouTube, I watch his videos. Sometimes he's got these little intro riffs that you he just plays rhythm and you can just jam over top of it. And what if you want to record something? Well, this gives you that capability. So... We're going to do it this way just for the purposes of recording into a DAW. So I've got that all set. And if I press play on my iPad, ideally we'll start getting some sound. And you can hear it coming through my monitors. I've got some Edifer speakers here. So I want to record this now that I know everything's working. So I'm just going to hit record just wait the job is done we have it recorded I let it record through my fender Mustang micro into cakewalk and now I have the audio from the YouTube video that I wish to record on top of so this can be used for all kinds of reasons lesson work backing tracks what have you i will say this video is not sponsored and also don't steal people's stuff it's just lame i have permission to use this video and this audio from jonathan at electric flamingo if you're not subscribed to electric flamingo on youtube or following him on instagram i have no idea what you're doing with your life now i can record a solo or more rhythm parts or a whatever synth parts whatever i want to do in here i can do it using the audio that i want to use and this can be good for any number of reasons uh for me right now it's just going to be used so that i can jam with my buddy on an awesome track that he made i'm going to mix my tracks down onto an audio file mp3 or wave and get it uh onto my iphone and use movie maker and line up do all the editing things which are uh you know inherent to making a good youtube video uh, and hopefully somebody will get some use out of uh what i've done anyway have a good day